A Victorian collection of books and art was recently donated to the library at the University of Delaware. With more than 9,500 pieces and worth more than $10 million, it's the largest and most valuable gift in the library's history. But the gift is only one part of our next story. The man behind the largesse rounds it out. Thousands of newly donated rare and expensive books, drawings, and photographs have put the University of Delaware's Morris Library on the map. This is one of the best collections of its type in the world. And so scholars from not only around the US, but scholars from international scholars will be able to think of the University of Delaware when they're thinking about works of this time period of this genre. The collection is vast and focuses on British literature and art from the late 19th century. This is the biggest and the most valuable gift that the library has ever received. Margaret Stetz curated an accompanying exhibit showcasing the best of from the massive collection, amassed by UD staffer Mark Samuels Lasner over the last 40 years. You'll see things like this signed copy of Bram Stoker's Dracula, a lock of model, poet, and artist Elizabeth Siddle's hair, and an illustration by children's author Beatrix Potter. If you've even heard of big names like Charles Dickens, Charles Dickens is represented here, uh, as well as Charles Darwin and Florence Nightingale and George Eliot, people whose names I think are fairly familiar, as well as some writers and artists whose names are less familiar. The exhibit is organized around Mark Samuels Lassner's passion for all things Victorian. A passion, it seems, he was destined to have, in spite of being born partially sighted. I grew up in an 1896 uh, Queen Anne Revival summer cottage. When I say summer cottage, it's not really a cottage. It was a 27-room house uh, overlooking Long Island in Connecticut. This was a house that my grandparents rented. They didn't own. And so I had, in a sense, a late 19th century childhood. Growing up, Samuels Lassner met a very close friend of his grandmother's, May Bradshaw Hayes, who was born in London and grew up in the Victorian era. And as a teenager, I would go visit Mrs. Hayes and she'd tell me stories of meeting Robert Browning as a little girl, of knowing the painter Edward Byrne Jones. So I knew someone who actually had known the people that I became interested in. Stories that would transport Samuels Lassner beyond the limitations of his eyesight and later foster his love of books from that time and eventually collecting them. There is something remarkable about being able to see the handwriting of an author, something you will not get from reading an email message. And it is remarkable the emotional impact of many of these items that peop on people. When I graduated from college, at which point she was in her mid-90s, a box arrived from Mrs. Hayes, which contained two hand-painted fireplace tiles that were the wedding gift to her parents from Edward and Georgiana Byrne Jones, and the remnants of a blue and white tea set that were the presents from William and Jane Morris. That's how I started collecting. And that's the story of the blind book collector who gave a $10 million gift to UD, who might not have perfect eyesight, but has the perfect vision for a collection so others can see what he loves about the 19th century. Samuels Lassner says collectors like to control what happens to their collections and that he felt like this was the right time and UD was the right place to make the donation. Victorian Passions, stories from the Mark Samuels Lassner collection is on exhibit in the Special Collections Gallery in the Morris Library through June 3rd. You can also see it online. Go to events.udel.edu and click on Victorian Passions.